In the last video, I spoke a lot about the central nervous system and the vagus nerve, and especially how you can use Pilates and other forms of exercise to help regulate your nervous system. So in this video, I'm going to speak specifically about two muscles in your body that are affected the most by the vagus nerve and by your fight or flight response in the body. So those two muscles are the psoas muscle and the diaphragm. Now, the psoas muscle, actually I'm gonna scoot back so you can see, the psoas muscle starts on your spine, sort of up and behind the belly button on the front of the spine, goes down, there's two of them, on either side of the body, like two straight columns, wraps around your hips and inserts on your inner thigh. So this is the muscle that connects your trunk to your legs. It provides stability in that connection and it also helps you stand up from a crouched position. So if I'm crouching and I need to stand quickly, the psoas muscle is involved in that. Um, what else? Oh, it flexes, side bends, rotates, extends your spine, and is involved in any combination of those movements. So the psoas muscle does a whole lot. Now the biggest thing is that you feel it in your hip flexors or your low back. So when there's tightness in your psoas muscle, you might have some low back pain and you might feel your hips are really tight and that, that you can't do any sort of extension exercises or glute work. Um, the psoas muscle is also your fight or flight muscle. So it is the one that is the most responsive to our fight or flight response in our body. So when you're having anxiety or when you come out of a high stress moment, if you feel shaking in your legs or in your core, a lot of that is the psoas muscle being affected. So when you have chronic high stress situations, finding a balance, a nice harmony between working the psoas muscle, building its stability and strength, but also finding enough mobility and stretch in the muscle as well is how you can regulate your nervous system a little better. Now that's the psoas. The diaphragm, as I've spoke about before, is the primary breathing muscle sitting inside your rib cage, wraps from the front side and back, shaped like a jellyfish or a dome, slides down your spine in its contraction on your inhale, domes up into the rib cage on your exhale. Now, the reason I always use a jellyfish image when talking about the diaphragm is because from the center of the diaphragm, you have these ligaments that come down and on the spine and they actually look like tentacles in your body. They root on the spine and cross over the upper fibers of the psoas muscle. So there's an extremely important connection between the diaphragm and the psoas muscle in your body. I actually think it's the most important connection in your body because it's the deepest, it's the closest to the spine, it's important for breathing, and again, it's important for regulating the nervous system. So if your diaphragm or psoas is out of balance, one will affect the other. This can show up in a range of ways. You can have breathing issues. You can feel more anxiety. You can have digestive issues. The psoas muscle runs through the, your reproductive organs, and it also can cause your hips and your low back to feel very tight and painful. So finding alignment, finding that correlation between deep diaphragmatic breathing and engaging, strengthening, and stretching the psoas muscle is crucial to balancing your nervous system.